look. Don't ask me. I'm really sad about this. Again. <laughs> Cheers. And I gotta do this as long as I can. Look at this kid. Do you need to? And um, like literally something that has never happened, literally ever. Obviously. Hey guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It'll be another little like holiday vlog. The best kinds. Like the lighting was very orange. Hopefully I fixed it. I'm just finishing up getting ready, which is why we're in the bathroom. And I feel like there's always a little bit of an echo in here. So I apologize for that. But I just finished a workout and it literally, literally kicked my whole entire butt like I was sweating and breathing so freaking hard but I kind of love those workouts so anyway I feel like I'm a little I'm still a little bit shiny from the workout but we're gonna go to like a little holiday market today I think kind of thing I love those like cute little kind of like shop small holiday things where you can like support local vendors and stuff like that I'm actually just switching out some of my jewelry as I get ready and it's so funny because I feel like when people say like oh I haven't like wanted to take this off or I haven't taken this off but like they just mean like they like it a lot and they wear it a lot but like legitimately I haven't taken this necklace off in like four days like I have worked out in it slept in it showered in it it is so so pretty I actually featured this in a reel that I posted on Instagram kind of like styling this necklace with a couple different outfits because I am so in love with it I'll show you a little more of a close-up but I will also go ahead and link that reel so you guys can kind of see how I styled like a really cute little dainty necklace like this as kind of like the star of the show with a few different like outfits like from kind of super casual to a little more dressy I just think it is so pretty and goes with literally everything and all of these pieces that I'm about to show you are actually from Ana Luisa which I love their jewelry I have so many pieces at this point and this is not sponsored or anything but they did send these pieces over to me and I'm so excited to be getting the chance to show you guys because their stuff is literally incredible I'm sure you've heard of their products I feel like their jewelry is like some of the best of the best out there and for good reason I'm obsessed and I'm so excited to show them to y'all so I'll have this all linked down below and I do have a coupon code as well that y'all can use on their website which is really exciting because their products they're so so high quality like so high quality like I said I've been wearing this for like four days straight and literally looks a brand new but they're not like a crazy expensive which is really nice like I love when you can get some like really high quality pieces without like breaking the bank but I got a couple new pairs of earrings and I actually got another necklace and like I said since I've been wearing that one for a couple days I'm excited to switch it up for today to go with my outfit I'm still kind of like casual right now I have to put my whole outfit together but I'm so excited to show these pieces to you guys I feel like a lot of us just like things like this that are like very kind of dainty and sort of understated but I feel like in their daintiness they kind of make a big statement if that makes sense like it's something little that just like kind of stands out a lot at least for me like I love something really delicate but also just stunning like I feel like this can just stand alone like same with this necklace I feel like this one especially the one I just showed y'all would be so good for like a best friend or like a significant other or something because it's kind of like the chain links and I feel like that could signify you know a relationship of some kind and again it's just like very dainty and delicate but also kind of says a lot and like really stands out and I feel like these are the kind of pieces that people really notice but they're also really good for layering for the same reason because they are a little bit smaller like the chain is pretty tiny they make really really good layering pieces I love this little v1 I'll also include some like up close footage of these pieces so you can see them a little better I feel like this kind of necklace is something like literally anyone would love it's so easy to style I love just how like sparkly they are like I said they're so tiny but they really stand out so so pretty I feel like I could even wear these two together like I feel like that could even be a cute combo I love like layering necklaces but sometimes I feel like less is more and something like this kind of speaks for itself and this one actually has an extender so this could even be a little bit longer depending on how you like your necklaces but we need to talk about these earrings I'm so so excited again I will show you up close so that you can see what they look like not on my ear but how stunning 
are these. I got these like really simple, like kind of thicker, chunkier little hoops. Like they're not, you know, obviously huge. And I think they're perfect for like a second or third hole kind of thing because I love to kind of like layer up my earrings and I love having them coordinate. This other pair goes perfectly with this like really simple pair because this is like a very, um, I don't know, kind of intricate sort of design. It's like a kind of a twisted, almost like a rope style as you can see, but it's got like a pure like gold and then it also has sort of like a studded with like little silver stones kind of twisted through it. And for me especially, I love, I love, love, love like mixed metals and mixed tones. I don't have my wedding ring on right now because I just <laughs> worked out, like I said, but my wedding ring is all silver. So I wear a lot of silver also, as you can see, like my other earrings and my nose ring. I like to have a lot of silver, but I also wear mostly gold jewelry in terms of like necklaces and like my lobe earrings. So because I wear a lot of silver, I love when my other pieces have a little bit of silver kind of mixed into the gold. I feel like it kind of ties everything together. So that's what I love about this necklace and even this kind of like little chain link one. It has primarily gold, but then like the little stones kind of bring that silver component in that just makes it so much more like interesting and more aesthetic. And I feel like it just gives a lot more depth and dimension to the piece than, you know, just having like one solid metal color. I also feel like these small huggies would be perfect for your first holes as well. If you just like a really simple, like everyday hoop that you literally never have have to take out like these are the kind of pieces that are so high quality that they don't tarnish or like turn color so you can leave them in your ears or you can wear them on your neck like all the time they are just so so good and i feel like investing in jewelry that you can actually like trust to last that isn't gonna need to be replaced in like a couple of months is huge i feel like putting your money towards jewelry like that is just 10 times more worth it than buying like jewelry that you're only going to be able to wear a handful of times and then you'll have to replace anyway and for me i just like can't be bothered to switch out my jewelry like every single time i work out or shower or sleep like i i don't have time for that i'm not going to remember that so having pieces that i can literally like put on and basically forget about is so much easier especially for for the mom life. It's just one less thing that I have to think about. So I am in love with these. I also feel like these could look really fancy, these like twisted ones. They could be kind of dressier, but I also feel like they can be very casual. Like I'm literally just wearing like a Sherpa pullover right now and I feel like I can wear them just like with this outfit and they don't look like out of place. But then I also feel like you could put these on for like a holiday party with a dress and they would look really, really nice. And that's one of the other things I really love about these like particular pieces is that they can be very casual and just like every day, but they can also be really nice and you can like dress them up, dress them down. Like they're very much everyday pieces, but they can also definitely like elevate your look as well if you need them for a little bit of a nicer occasion. Like you can, that's what I'm saying. You can literally put these on and like not have to take them off no matter what you're you're doing, where you're going, what you're wearing. They literally work with everything. And I'm literally obsessed as you can tell, of course they have a ton of stuff on their website. Like it's so hard to make a decision when you're shopping on there because everything is so, so cute. They have like some more statement necklaces, like bigger ones. They have like layered pieces. So you don't even have to buy like multiple different necklaces. You can just like purchase kind of a stack. So many cute and just unique earrings. Like I just feel like these are so different like very unique like i've never seen any other earrings like this and they have a lot of earrings like that that you will stumble upon and be like this is something i've never seen before and that i also feel like is nice to just have something that you definitely don't have in your collection and like something that maybe not everybody is wearing so definitely check out their website my coupon code works on you know necklaces rings bracelets earrings like they have every kind of jewelry and so many different like metals and styles all of that kind of stuff they have like bigger hoop earrings and they have studs and i have actually quite a few of their studs that i wear in my cartilage a lot of the time i have multiple necklaces from them that i'm always like mixing and matching and stacking with other jewelry that i have their pieces are just timeless and such high quality so so excited to have gotten a chance to share some more of their pieces with you guys and of course for the holidays they're having so many good sales going on and these make such good gift pieces i feel like that kind of goes without saying but if you have someone in your life maybe like a new mom or your spouse or your daughter your kids anyone that likes jewelry which I don't really know many people that don't enjoy some really, really nice, high quality, like beautiful jewelry. These would be such like no brainer gifts. Like literally go on their website and pick out like one or two things and whoever you're giving them to is going to be obsessed. Or I feel like honestly, I need some lip gloss. My lips are so dry right now. I feel like you can honestly just even put these on like your own wish list. And really quick, aside from the actual jewelry itself, I love the little bags that they come in. They're almost like kind of a canvasy, like a really durable, like super thick material. And all the jewelry comes in one of these little pouches and they have like a magnetic 
closure. So I feel like A, that just makes it very giftable. If you want to, you know, put this in someone's stocking or something like that, it just is like a really nice presentation. But you can also totally store your jewelry in these as well. And I feel like that will keep them very protected. You won't lose track of them. It's good for travel as well. If you want to just like save these, I honestly always just keep these. So anyway, like I said, everything will be linked down below for y'all to check out. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sending these pieces over to me. I'm clearly in love with them so anyway i also have some other stuff i wanted to show you guys i have just like some black friday shopping honestly i feel like black friday started in freaking october for a lot of different retailers so i have some like activewear like just like a little haul of things i recently purchased during all of the sales and i have a ton still coming in so i'll probably do a couple like little mini like black friday hauls over the next couple of vlogs and then i'll probably do a few like dedicated maybe like try on hauls depending on how much stuff I have from like what retailers and stuff like that. So I figured I would show you that in this vlog. I also think I'm gonna make a really cool and interesting um, Thanksgiving leftover recipe. So I'll show you that. And then um, I think we're gonna go to this little holiday market. So I will bring you all along for that as well. All right, and then as far as some of those other things I want to show you all. First thing, this is like not really actually part of this haul, but I'm probably gonna throw this on at some point today. Even though I'm not actually Danish, my husband is and so therefore my son is and the World Cup is on and so we, like didn't have any Danish like merch like my husband has a soccer jersey and like that's it so I figured we needed some like Danish <laughs> swag so I ordered this off of Amazon and then I got one for my husband and I got one for Cole as well like a little soccer ball with like a little Danish flag in it so I'll probably throw that on at some point not for not for the holiday market it's not really like necessarily like a cute <laughs> thing to wear but we need like something to represent so I picked that up and then I have some other really exciting like athletic wear type purchases that I figured I would show you all this is basically all like, workout stuff more or less but I picked up a couple of things from Lululemon um for my husband for Christmas I'm very excited to get him some Lululemon stuff because he doesn't have anything Lululemon but like of course if I'm gonna be ordering on their website I'm gonna get stuff for myself as well and I literally live in active wear like that's all I wear since I work out so much so I always feel like I can justify purchasing more of it right so I will link all this stuff below for y'all of course as well hopefully it's still in stock but I saw this style this is the Align um sports bra oh no no, no the other one is this is the Invigorate tank and I loved this freaking pattern so so much how cute is that i feel like this will be so easy to style because it has or like match you know with different color leggings because there are so many different colors like the orange and the yellow and the pink and the blue like i just and the black obviously so i feel like this will go with a lot of different leggings and just kind of like add a fun pop of color that's kind of what i'm trying to do i actually sent ken like a bunch of sports bras that i wanted him to get me for christmas because i feel like i have a ton of sports bras but they're all not, well not all of them but a lot of them are just like solid color which is nice again for like matching with different leggings and like different prints of leggings but honestly I wear mostly solid leggings and so sometimes I feel like it's boring just having like a solid color tank top and then a solid color pair of leggings so I was wanting for like this Christmas to kind of get more like fun sports bras to kind of make my like workout outfits a little bit more like cute and fun I kind of want to have a little bit more like fun options in my sports bra collection so that's why I specifically wanted this one because this is obviously just so different and will be easy to pair with a lot of different like leggings and it is a racer back and it does have the padding in it so I love that and then this one is the align pink and honestly I already took the pads out of it usually I love pads in my sports bras but these ones were like looking weird in this one for whatever reason but I got this super bright color which again I know I was just saying I'm trying to kind of get some more interesting sports bras but I think this one's fun even though it is a solid color because it's just such a fun like bright shade it's like just a really fun pop of color I feel like this would go with because it's so nice and like simple but really also like fun and would make any outfit a little bit more kind of interesting with how bright it is this one's not a racer back it just has like the normal straps it kind of just like scoops in the back and then it's a v-neck in the front and obviously like the really nice super stretchy and smooth align material i typically get a size four in all my bottoms from lulu and then like a six in the tops and this um tank fits a little bit better than this one i feel like this six is almost a little bit small so i don't know if it's just like a little bit of a weird size for this one or maybe i just need to like wear it and kind of stretch it out but 
but I feel like the sizing with that was a little bit funny. And then I got this sports bra. I'm so excited about this one. This one is from Amazon. Look how fun this leopard print is. I feel like it's kind of a more unique leopard print because it's like super tiny. I love leopard print literally anything. I mean, it's pretty simple from the front, just the design. I feel like, like the pattern's really pretty, but the back is so, so cool. It kind of like looks like it just goes straight back in the front, but then it crisscrosses in the back and then it has kind of like a little like peephole and then it has like another band kind of lower so it kind of crisscrosses and then it has like a little twist to it and then just like a straight across band there at the back so i just feel like the like front of it is is fairly simple but the back is just so unique and fun and just a little bit different. The back of this is just really intricate and pretty. I feel like for me, I don't typically even wear a tank top. I just wear my sports bra and my leggings. So I like having something with a cute back. But then of course, if you like wear this out running errands, if you wear like a tank top or anything kind of with like an open back, I feel like it's fun to have sports bras that are a little bit unique and different to kind of peek through. So, so freaking cute. And then this pair of leggings is actually also from Amazon. This is from the, um, this used to be called Hawthorne and now it's called the Hay Nuts. I don't really know why they would change the name from Hawthorne to Hay Nuts. Don't ask me, but it's like the same like material and the same style. I just changed the brand name and I wore so many of these pairs like postpartum because these are so so comfy and smooth They're like kind of almost seamless They have a seam over here, but they don't have a seam at the top at all and they're like a very smooth Brush material super super stretchy, but also like nice and compressive at the same time And I just fell in love with this blue color like actually I feel like this would go almost Eh, it's not like the exact same color. It's pretty close though. I just love this like super vibrant like royal blue I just feel like this is so, I mean I have so so many leggings y'all like I literally have I think like 50 or 60 pairs of leggings last time I checked but there's still so many colors that I don't have like obviously I have blue leggings but like I do not have a super bright like vibrant royal blue like this and I Just fell in love with this shade like I had to have it. It's just so fun and pretty and these leggings are so great they are um the 25 inch these ones and they have a little bit of branding on the back nothing crazy but just the really really comfy a super nice stretchy material i love those i actually feel like those would be fun paired with like this too just like two kind of bright like fun colors love pairing outfits together like that honestly <laughs> i just realized this next like little pairing i got is kind of very similar oh my gosh are these no these are like very I mean, okay, they're not very different blues, but they're pretty, they're pretty different. These are um, a couple pieces I got from Royal Change during their Black Friday sale that Sydney Cummings, um, she's who I work out with. She is a trainer on YouTube and I'm in the Sydney squad and she's, I do her workouts every single day. I've been doing only her workouts for like probably like four years at this point. Literally, it feels like forever and I have so much of her workout apparel. Um, I will link this down below, of course. didn't have these two styles and they came out with a bunch of new colors. So for Black Friday, I picked up a couple of the new colors that they came out with. This is their Energy line and I don't have like anything yellow. Like I don't have yellow leggings or sports bras or anything like that. So as soon as I saw this color, I knew I had to snag it. It's just so pretty and bright. They have their little logo right there in gray and then they also have like this script of their logo right on the back. Um, and they do have padding in these. The padding is like all the way across. It's not like two separate pieces. It's just like one piece, which I think is really nice. Um, and I do get a size medium in their sports bras and they fit really well. Definitely like a lot of support and like a good compression while still being really, really comfortable. This material is like insanely soft. It's like a really nice brushed, but still like a spandexy material. I like kind of specifically got it to wear with these shorts. They do make all of the same colors and tops and the bottom. So if you want to do like a whole yellow set, you can do that or like a whole blue set. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of do like a mix match. Like I feel like these colors look really pretty together and I have never tried. This is kind of a new style for them. They're um, like pocket bike shorts. So I was really excited to try these and I just thought this blue color was so stunning. I feel like I'm clearly having like a little bit of a blue moment and these just have the logo again in script right on the back and then they have like the little crown right at the bottom but they have the pockets on both sides which for me anything with pockets is such a bonus and then I'm like such a sucker for their um sweat towels I have I literally think I have like probably four or five other sweat towels from them but they're the only sweat towels I use and they recently came out with these gigantic ones like 
I don't even think it's gonna fit in the frame like I'll have to back up this is so so big which is really great not just for obviously sweat but also if you need to like lay it down for doing like any core work or anything on the ground it's just really really big or if you go to the gym and you like to have a towel for like if you take a quick shower afterwards or something you need not like a full-on like shower towel but just something you know bigger these are so so great they have so many pretty colors and what i really like about these is all of their other towels just kind of had like their logo i guess sort of like screen printed or whatever on top but these are like ink printed so they're like part of the towel which is really nice because the other ones like they feel really scratchy with like the texture of whatever the screen print is so like you can't really use that side on your face you have to use this side the nice thing about these is both sides is really soft i feel like that's one of those little things unless you're like really like a huge like workout person <laughs> you probably wouldn't care about a sweat towel or like the details like that but for me it's kind of a little thing that's sort of a big thing so I'm really excited about this one and I love this green I kind of wish they would make some of their like workout stuff in this green color I feel like that'd be so pretty I just love as you can tell I'm kind of going for like the more bright like interesting kind of colors like if you just <laughs> look at this pile here it's a lot of like just bright colors even though it's like winter I feel like this is very much like a spring or summer kind of thing but I'm just needed to kind of like revamp my athletic wear kind of situation even though like I said I have so many bras and so many leggings I wear them literally like all day every day they get worn a lot and not that I get like tired of them but I feel like you know with anything else that you do very often sometimes you feel like you need to just like switch it up and kind of like refresh add some new energy to <laughs> the situation so that's what I'm doing right now you guys will have to stay tuned for the like Christmas vlog or what I got for Christmas whatever I end up doing because I got so many new <laughs> sports bras that I ordered for Ken to give me so I'll have to show you those because I'm so excited I got mostly it's pretty much all from Dick so I got a lot of like Nike and those kind of brands for sports bras and I got so many just like different unique patterns and colors and I'm excited to kind of refresh my workout wardrobe so anyway those are the things I want to show you like I said I will link everything down below including my um, jewelry and the coupon code and anything like that will have everything in the description box pretty much everything I mentioned even if I like don't necessarily mention that I'm gonna link it I pretty much always link everything that I talk about in my videos just so y'all know and actually my legs are like really really falling asleep but I guess while we're sitting here um I also got this a fun little like they call it a fragrance flight it's from the brand confessions of a rebel this is um kind of like what the informational card is and they did send this like over to me just to kind of like try out some of their scents it comes in like a really pretty little bag that you can store all these in and this is just literally how it sounds like a flight of fragrances it's a ton of samples of a bunch of their different fragrances which i think is so cool i've never seen a brand i mean obviously you get samples of fragrances and like your sephora orders and things like that but i've never seen and maybe more brands do this and i just haven't seen it but i haven't personally seen a brand just like sell as like a little pack just like a bunch of their fragrances for you to try out and i think that's so smart because honestly i mean i feel like you get a lot of use out of like these little samples like even though they're fairly tiny obviously like you only need like a spritz or two of perfume generally to really smell good and so i feel like one of these goes a really long way so you still get a good amount of use it's not like a one-time thing but you also get so many to try out so i feel like even though these are tiny you would literally get probably weeks worth of like fragrance out of like this little pack so i'll link this down below as well i have a coupon code with them i believe as well so i'll put that with the link down below so you can save a little bit of money if you wanted to try these out but these fragrances smell like really 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 good i picked out like my top three i literally sat down and went through all these because i was like these all smell incredible and i decided on my top three i figured i would mention to you um this one's called get a room and it's got like mandarin and kind of vanilla but also like a woodsy kind of scent which whenever i like a fragrance and then i usually read the notes afterwards it typically always will have some kind of like woodsy or like musky scent to it and then i'm like oh that makes sense why i liked that one and then um this is like i guess like a different version of get a room this one is called get a room and order champagne and it has as you can see like a little bit of a different packaging and it's very similar but this one has like a raspberry and like a cocoa I mean if you like like this one you're gonna like this one and vice versa so i didn't even realize when i was like going through and picking out which ones i liked best i didn't even realize that i picked these two but then after the fact i was like well yeah of course if you like one of these you're gonna like the other so i definitely recommend the get a room ones they smell incredible and then this one honestly i think is pretty funny because of <laughs> the name but it smells 
Oh, so, so good. So this one is a little more citrusy, but then it also has, I guess, like some apple, some sage, and then sandalwood, of course, which again, like I said, whenever I like a scent, it's got some kind of like woodsy kind of undertone to it. I guess it almost has like a slight masculine like background note, if that makes sense, like almost like a cologne type scent, which I really like, but still very girly because of the other kind of more like fruity scents. So, so good, but like I said, this flight has a ton of different samples in it, so you can purchase this whole flight and just kind of like test them out, or you can totally gift these two if you're not like crazy about certain ones. These would make really good little stocking stuffers to include in like your daughters, anything like that. These would make really good little stocking additions, but also I feel like if you just get tired of your scents and you like to switch it up, this would be such a good option either to, you know, just try out and then maybe purchase a full size, or if you just want to have a bunch of little samples and you like to kind of just like switch out your scent every couple days or every week and then also for travel I personally always keep a bunch of little samples like this aside and I don't like to travel with like a big bottle of body spray or perfume I just bring these sometimes like one sample will be all I need for a whole trip if I'm just going away for a couple days and I save so much room packing stuff plus obviously if you're flying you typically can't bring too big of a bottle anyway so these are perfect for travel but also just like switch up your scent I think it's so fun that they have this so I will link this down below along with the coupon code if you guys want to try this out so fun for like the fragrance lover in your life or yourself um, and then last but not least, I'm really sad about this. This is from H&M. I've had my eye on this little tote bag forever and it has been impossible to get your hands on. I'll link it down below just in case it comes back in stock or you can, you know, put on the notifications for them to tell you when it comes back in stock, which is what I did. So I snagged it as soon as it got back in stock, but I'm so sad. I've literally cleaned this like 600 times at this point and I just cannot get this out. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see it on the camera i've done like an okay job but it came with like i don't even know if you can tell this like really like sticky orange something like all along here and then there's like some over here and a little bit over here and then even a tiny bit on this top edge i don't know what the heck happened to this obviously either in like the warehouse or what but i'm really not sure if you'll be able to tell but it's just really like discolored and like I just cannot get the stickiness out. I've cleaned it with just water. I've put a little bit of dish soap and it looks a lot better. It's a lot less orange, but it's still very discolored and like very, very like sticky. And it's just really a shame because I love the bag. Like I love the size and the shape and I like the texture. I feel like this could be a beach bag. It could just be like kind of an everyday like tote just to like throw your, you know, purse type items in or like a laptop kind of like work bag. It's pretty like big. Like I just feel like this is such a fun bag and it's just important possible to get like it's not like I could just order a new one and return this one it has literally only come back in stock once and I grabbed it and I got it on sale and everything like that so I don't know what to do because I just I like want this bag because I like it so much and I don't have anything like it but I don't like for that reason I don't really want to return it because I feel like I'll never be able to get it again but then at the same time I don't necessarily like want to keep it I feel like I want to get my money back because it's just so sticky and gross and just kind of looks Looks like I've been like using it and I got it dirty and it's brand new. So I don't know what to do. What would you guys do? Would you bring it back to the store, like return it and just like hope that it comes back in stock? Or would you keep it because you'd be afraid you'd never be able to like get it again in case it doesn't come back in stock and just like get over the fact that it has like a little bit of stuff there. I mean, it's not super obvious and it's not like anyone, like it's not like a huge, you know, thing on the whole bag. So it's not like I would think anyone would notice, but I, I notice and it's just, it's sticky. That's the thing. If it wasn't such a sticky, like gross texture, I feel like I would care less, but I like, I can't, I've done so many things. Or if you guys know how to like clean this, I, like I said, I used um, just water and then also like water with dish soap and nothing seems to be helping. Let me know if you know how to fix that and what y'all would do. I just don't know what to do. Like I really want it, but I'm just annoyed. So anyway, now that I've literally just been like sitting here just like chatting for what feels like forever, I'm going to go watch some of the um, soccer game with Ken. It's coming up on lunchtime too. So I need to eat and I need to finish getting ready so we can go do some fun festivities. Also, I think we have to bring Ken's car to the shop because I'm pretty sure he has a flat tire. So it's like one of those annoying things that you have to waste a perfectly good Saturday doing like going all of us in one car and then or all of us going in two cars and then him leaving his car there and then all of us getting back in my car and coming back here and it's just like such a waste of time to and then also you have to deal with a flat tire so 
that's one of the probably more annoying adulting type things we're gonna have to deal with today on top of the fun stuff. I also have laundry going, so <laughs> some more like not fun adult things, but Ken is freaking screaming right now. That's one of the things that's fun about watching the sports with him as he freaks out. Oh, here's his shirt. I was just showing mine. I guess I need to go put mine on. Isn't that cute? No foul, no chance, no chance. Get real. What were you just screaming about? Because we had such a good chance. Oh. Yeah, it's 0-0, zero, zero, so. We don't have to win. Yeah, doesn't it, it, I heard them say it doesn't matter if they win or if they it really, lose or tie. It doesn't really matter. If we win, I mean, that's a, in, insane, but at the end of the day, we gotta beat Australia. It's like, <laughs> but honestly, as fun as watching the games oh, is, no. it's more fun to just watch Ken. <laughs> I also need to um, reheat my coffee. Yes, let's go! Oh, yellow card. Cheers. All right, we officially all have our Danish gear on. Just put it on with my leggings. I got my little t-shirt. Cole, this is his. It's like a little soccer ball with like a little flag and of course some drool. And then I showed Ken, so. We're all repping. <laughs> I'm the only non-Danish one here, but. That's okay. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna make a cool like leftovers recipe for dinner, but <laughs> for lunch, I'm just having some leftover salad. It's got like um, roasted butternut squash and some cranberries, and then I put some goat cheese on it, and then I have, oh, and then I have this homemade dressing, and then there's some turkey in there too. I don't know if you can see it. It's like buried in there. I don't think I vlogged yesterday, but Coley and I had a little matching moment yesterday, and we're doing it again. <laughs> Twins! Don't you like to match with me, baby? <laughs> yeah, his hair is a little unruly, so we're doing a hat moment. <laughs> Alright, we just grabbed some beer for Ken. Top secret for Dada, huh? Yeah. Oh boy. Where's your sock? And where's your hat? Where's your other sock? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what'd you do with it? Oh, there it is. Stankar, you got hat hair now. Oh, it's so bright. We have gotten so many compliments on our matching hats. It's so funny, I just tell everyone I gotta do this as long as I can until he starts having opinions and doesn't wanna match with his mom anymore. Okay, do you wanna see what I got that you're mad? Because we haven't had any. And then I also got this. Oh, God. I I love this every single year, and I haven't had any yet this year. Ken doesn't like either of these, so I had to go sneak and get them. Because <laughs> these are like holiday staples in my family, I feel like. I also have some packages here. This one is from Dermatology, which they make one of my favorite um, like face sunscreens. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, is this like a new face sunscreen? Daydream SPF 40. I haven't heard of this. Let's check it out. They send um, me over like packages kind of randomly when they have something fun. Water and sweat resistant. Okay, yeah, this looks like this is like a new face sunscreen. I love the other one that comes in like the pump bottle. So I'm sure. Oh, oh, you like push it up like this. Kind of scared to push on it. <laughs> okay, I'll have to let you all know how I think of this because I don't know anything about it yet, but it looks like right up my alley. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Look at this kid. He's got chocolate all over his face. <laughs> and he's got hat hair. <laughs> That's how he says donut. A a a <laughs> oh my gosh, go late. <laughs> the post donut face. <laughs> okay, and then I ordered, these weren't sent to me, I ordered them myself, um, some new glasses because I got a new prescription and the prescription feels a lot different even though my doctor said it's like mildly different. But here, this is a pair that I literally have from like two prescriptions ago or something and I like this kind of shape and it's like they're nice and sturdy. And then this is the same style but a different um, print or, you know, color. Way. Oh yeah, I think I like these. Oh, these are actually kind of fun. They're like a tortoise, but like with the kind of like a blonde, like a light yellow or like I don't know, an off-white. Oh yeah, 
think I dig these. Okay, I pretty much always get my glasses from Fermu. I can link these down below. I used to have a coupon code. I'm not sure if I do. I'll check and put it down there. They have um, new like packaging too. They never used to have this like really cute little sleeve. It was just like a plain, I think, gray. I like their new little like cases. The hair still needs to be dealt with. <laughs> I don't know what is going on up there, but we did a little um, quick outfit change since we're gonna be. Oh, my hair looks so ridiculous. Um, quick little outfit change. For now, I just threw on um, this little like Amazon. It's kind of like a denim jacket. It makes a lot of noise, but it's really cute and it's like unseasonably warm out, so this is actually gonna be fine. And then this is just a pair of Abercrombie denim. These are like actually from, I think these are from last season. So they're not like as baggy as I feel like my jeans are nowadays, but honestly all my jeans are just like together. Like they're just all stacked up together. So I don't even really know what jeans I'm grabbing when I grab them. So this is the pair um, that we ended up with today. We also, Cole's birthday was a little bit ago, but my grandma, you know, she's elderly, so she, she gets to things when she gets to things, but clearly the triplets decorated <laughs> this with stickers, but we just got the cutest little birthday card for Cole from her, along with a little bit of money for him, which is really, really sweet. So I'm so excited. I love getting things like this from her because I feel like obviously, you know, there's no way to know how long she is going to be around. So I just love that he has stuff from his great grandma to you know, save for memories. Okay, we've got a cute little baby. I threw on some boots. Ken's doing a vest with a t-shirt, which is a little bit of a fashion faux pas, but that's okay. He literally looks like he has no neck right now. <laughs> you see this? Wait, what happened to your neck? Oh, is that Goofy Santa? Is that guy so silly? He's, can you wave hi? Aw. <laughs> you didn't like the last Santa we met either, no. You'll learn to like him. Say bye-bye. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the crunch wraps now. We're starting with a tortilla. Next is some mashed potatoes, and then the green bean casserole, and then the turkey, and then throw a little stuffing over top of that, and then some cheese, and then we're gonna do the crunch wrap fold. All right, now we gotta go grill it up. All right, we got the crunch wrap, and we've got the gravy. Do like a little dip action. There we go. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's so good. Like so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm kind of, of course, Ken's using a freaking fork and knife. Oh god. Love this idea. Okay, he has this new thing where he just puts his grubby hands all. <laughs> His grubby hands all in his hair. Oh, he just started doing this like a couple days ago and now he needs like a bath after every single meal. He's demanding some milk, sir. <laughs> Wait, I just got the funniest video. I'll have to insert it here in a second of Ken yawning and Cole just like completely kind of trying to copycat him and it was really cute and really funny. I'll have to put that right here for y'all. That that's got a big yawn coming off. Oh, he's not even looking at me. Daddy. Oh. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cole is literally pounding down my mac and cheese. Uh oh. Uh oh, where'd they go? Y'all, he's been doing the cutest thing. I've got it on 
my camera a few times. I don't know if I've ever got on the vlog, but whenever he like loses a ball like under the table or something, he always asks for help. He says, help, yeah. You need help? Help? Okay, I'll help you. Help, yeah, there you go. <laughs> ball, yep, you got your ball. Oh, you're gonna need help if you do that, yeah. <laughs> okay, whoa, bye bye, ball. Bye bye. <gasps> Dad says home! Yay! I did not tell y'all I was bringing duck, duck, duck. He got some duck. A duck, yeah, a duck, duck, duck. Duck. Hey, <laughs> that means donut, by the way. Aww. So good with his pronunciation of everything, but with donut, he just says duck, duck, duck. Oh, these are my new glasses, by the way. Um. But yeah, baby, he's so cute. The soccer ball got caught under the table, and he was just sitting there saying, help, help, help. It's so funny to us that he like understands communication, even to the point where like he's not just like identifying things. Like he can say ball and car and all that kind of stuff, but he knows how to like ask for help, like ask for an action rather than just like a thing. He also is really good at like identifying now between milk and water. He knows how to say milk and he knows how to say water. And he knows the difference, like he knows what they look like in their cups. Even if they're in the same exact cup, he knows which one's milk and which one's water and like which one he would want, like which one he's asking for. Homeboy's real smart. All right, we got some breakfast delivery courtesy of our Uber Eats driver, mm -hmm. Ken Anderson. Oh yeah, biscuits with mento cheese and fried chicken, fries and some duck. Do you want to do a game? A game. A game? Okay, not with the remote and not with my coffee. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you want to do a game? Okay. Yeah. Okay, look, we gotta open it. Do you want to use these fuzzy pipe cleaners? Pipe? Yeah. He also learned how to say floor today. Can you say floor? Floor, yeah. All right, here we go. <gasps> okay, now look, we gotta put it in. Oh, can you get it? Can you get it out? Yeah, try to get it out. Can you get this one out? Or this one? Whoa, get it, get it, get it. This is good standing practice for you, huh? Whoa, that one's gonna get you. That one's gonna get you. He gonna get you. <laughs> is that ticklish? Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Go ahead, get your mocha. Wow, standing with no hands. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> what does a chicken say? Chicken says, buck, buck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay. Booka booka. Here's a cow. Move. Yeah, move, but you can hold them if you want. I'll pick up where we left off yesterday. This one. Molly and Donnie stopped for lunch at a restaurant called Cactus Beats. Wow. 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 I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you too. I love you too. Uh oh. So the little craziest thing, well it's not that crazy, but it's kind of crazy for us. I was just about to vlog 
with y'all this morning and like just chat with y'all this morning about switching Cole down to like a one nap schedule because he's just been like fighting his second nap so much or just like not taking the second nap at all and I know like around you know 13 14 15 months is like a normal time to make that switch and we are considering starting today like just pushing it back you know 15 minutes 30 minutes something like that just to kind of like start easing us into um, you know seeing how long he can make it and stuff like that and um, like literally something that has never happened happened literally ever obviously since he was like a newborn baby happened I'll put some pictures and videos here on the screen because it was wild we've literally just been today's like a rest day so I didn't have to work out so we just been playing on the couch sitting on the couch like reading the book watching some Hallmark just like hanging out and then I was looking at something on my phone and I was like rubbing his cheek like literally when I sit with him I just rub his cheek the whole time and like like talking to him here and there and like he wasn't responding but like Obviously, he doesn't always respond when I talk to him and then I turned on the camera on my phone and flipped it around And he was asleep Literally just like sitting up. He still had like his hands on his toys like grabbing his toys and like oh, Like that's why I thought he was awake because he was still like holding on to his toys And sometimes his fingers would move and stuff like that It didn't even occur to me that he would fall asleep and he was getting tired for sure Like when we were playing he was like rubbing his eyes and stuff, but it didn't seem like he was like extremely tired It just seemed like he was getting sleepy. Don't mind my freaking hair right now by the way, so I didn't think he was like that level of tired and honestly he literally never randomly falls asleep He like doesn't really fall asleep in the car He unless we like purposely take a long trip during his nap time. He doesn't just like randomly pass out in the car He's never just like fallen asleep like playing or sitting with us or anything And normally he goes down for his first nap I mean like I said, we're gonna try to move it back But typically he'll fall asleep for his first nap around like 10 o'clock is when we put him down and it was like 10 o'clock Right, so it was like just barely getting close to his nap time. It wasn't like it was like so much past his nap time and I was like okay we'll sit here for like another 15 minutes 20 minutes and then we'll go up and you know put him down like I said just to start moving the nap back and he was freaking asleep like it was probably like you know five to ten minutes after ten o'clock and he was passed out which he has literally never ever done ever just like falling asleep on us especially with his toys and the TV was on and I was like looking at things on my phone and on Instagram and so like there was a lot of noise I was rubbing his face literally as he was sleeping he was holding his toys like he I don't even know how he would fall asleep like that and I just can't believe he was like that level of tired to just pass out like we were cuddled up like he had the blanket on him and he was kind of like right here in the crook of my arm so i'm sure it was definitely like comfy and cozy he's just not the kind of kid that just falls asleep but at the same time i was kind of like thinking i was like wow he's been letting me sit here with him and cuddle with him for a long time because he doesn't usually want to sit still for very long he'll like cuddle with you for a couple minutes or whatever and then you know want to either like just sit on the couch and play with something or like get down but he was just sitting with me for so long which is also part of why i was like wait did he fall asleep like no freaking way and he did so i sat with him for like probably 30 minutes and i was like should i like just kind of slip out from under him and like just let him lay here on the couch and obviously i'll sit here next to him or should i bring him up to his crib so i sat with him for a while super super enjoyed that i just like hung out watched some hallmark and like cuddled with him took so many pictures and videos and then i like kind of slipped out and he sort of like kept his eyes closed and sort of like rolled like flat on the couch and was just sort of like cuddled up on the couch but then his eyes like popped open after like a minute or two and he like got kind of fussy because obviously you know i kind of woke him up like mid sleep but then I was like okay we're gonna go up and go night with bum bun he's a bum bun and then I put him in a sleep sack and he was still kind of fussy but now he's asleep he literally like laid down like whined for a minute or two and then rolled over and now he's fast asleep I was honestly really afraid that he wasn't gonna keep sleeping even though he was so tired when I put him in his like little sleep bag and like picked him up just to kind of like rock him a little bit he like instantly started to doze off so I was like okay at least he's still tired because I was really afraid he was just gonna be like okay now I'm up or just be like fussy and then not want to keep sleeping and I was gonna have ruined his whole like morning nap but I did so it was actually really really great because I got to enjoy a little contact nap which I mean we used to do intentional contact naps which we haven't done in ages but we've like literally never done an unintentional contact nap so that was so cute and so special and it was perfect because like I didn't really have I mean I have stuff to do I'm gonna do some editing and stuff but I didn't really like have a whole ton to do Ken's at the gym so it was just kind of nice honestly just like sit here in my cozy clothes under a blanket with him 
him with the tree on the um, Christmas candle was burning so it smells amazing and just like watch some Hallmark like check stuff on my phone and just kind of hang out and cuddle with him it's like a super super rainy day so it's just super cozy so honestly this was like the best morning for that to happen because it's not like we needed to like go do something or be somewhere or do my workout or anything it was like the perfect morning to just be able to be lazy and hang out and with like the rain and the Christmas it's just like very cozy so this was very much like a memorable morning for us. Like I feel like I'm going to remember this moment for a long time because it's just such an unusual like occurrence for us. And it was so special and so cozy, but I knew he needed to get like a full nap in. And obviously as much as I love the cuddle, I don't necessarily need to sit and hold him for like an hour and a half. This morning when, especially like since he hasn't been doing a second nap, this is kind of like the only time I get to myself. So anyway, that was such a cool moment. I'm so excited I got to do that. But now it is time for coffee this got nice and cold <laughs> while I was sitting with him so I'm so excited to get to enjoy this I reheated it the um what is it called the toasted white chocolate is so good and is actually getting some more Dunkin on its way home from the gym right now I'm literally addicted but anyway I think I might go ahead and wrap up this vlog here I know that there wasn't like a ton ton in this video like especially in terms of like Christmassy things we were honestly planning on doing some more like little kind of festive stuff today but it's like raining cats and freaking dogs like it hasn't rained like this in so long I'm not sure that I really want to venture out in the rain like this plus I'm honestly like so cozy <laughs> don't even know if I want to like put real clothes on today oh I think I mentioned earlier in this video too about his tire I guess I'll update y'all on that before <laughs> I closed off this video he brought his tire to like we dropped off his car yesterday after I ran those errands and he was hoping they would just be able to like repair his tire it was maybe just like a little bit of a leak but there was two freaking nails in his tire like two and I had a like monkey wrench <laughs> literally like not an actual wrench obviously but like a gigantic bolt in my tire three weeks ago maybe so that thankfully that was able to be patched but it was huge and then he had two nails in his tire that they could not fix so he needed a whole new tire so and then they have to keep the car because they don't have the tire won't be until tomorrow so his car is gonna have been in the shop for like most of the day yesterday all day today and probably a good chunk of tomorrow so his car is just out of commission for three days having to replace the whole tire I had the same problem with my tire like you know a couple of weeks ago so he has my car with him at the gym anyway so it's not like I could go do anything anyway so I'm kind of enjoying just getting to like stay home in my jammies, get some like quiet time alone in the house, hang out with my coffee, I'm gonna do a little bit of work. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, wrap up this video. I know it wasn't the most exciting of all vlogs, but obviously that's just kind of real life. And we're definitely gonna like ramp up the um, like Christmassy things um, in our like real time. It's not even December yet, it's still November. So I still feel like we have a lot of the Christmas season left and like kind of a lot of the Christmas festivities are like just starting to start if you know what I mean so we definitely have a lot more fun things to look forward to and to vlog and all of that so I hope that y'all are enjoying these little holiday vlogs and there will definitely be a lot more coming your way so I hope that you will subscribe we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys